Alright guys, we got a situation. Ben has disappeared and we definitely are not leaving without him. I have no idea where he is, so I guess we gotta start searching this town. Wait, where'd you get that basket? Oh, uh, this? Uh, I found, uh, found this in a Taoist temple. So you, so you took it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I just took it. It was just lying there. Um, knowing full well it wasn't mine. Well, where did you get that? In a Taoist temple. Uh, I just saw it lying there, so I took it. And here it is. I put stuff in it. Like my wallet. And my memories. Don't be a smartass, Foyt. What were you doing in Taoist temple? I was converting to Taoism. Just like Ben. I saw Ben. You saw Ben? Yeah. Yeah, he was just, uh, he was just in there and saw him. And, uh, I didn't, I didn't make my presence known because obviously I was, I was taking a basket, so I didn't want to say, Hey, I'm taking a basket! <laughs> so I got out of there before Ben could see me. So you're telling me that you saw Ben in a Taoist temple and you have not, uh, shared that with us until now? Yes, that's correct. Oh! Oh! Ah, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright guys, I uh I talked to I talked to Voight and uh I'm just gonna we're gonna go to the Taoist temple and uh see if he's there. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Hello? God. Oh hey Chief. Chief, what the Hello. hell are you doing? Hey, what what uh what Hello, are you guy. <coughs> what are you, my name is Sebastian. Ah yeah. Uh Where's Ben? And, uh, where's... Pretty much, where's Ben? Uh, we're actually gonna uh, pick him up right now, sir. Um, oh, great. That sounds yeah, great. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. That's, that's, you know... He wanted he wanted to go see the marketplace. Fantastic! Alright, Void, uh, we've been walking for 45 minutes. Where the hell is this temple? I'd say it's, uh, here. Oh, wow. That's a nice temple. My new house, I think. I'm going to buy it. All right, Void. Where's Ben? Don't you see him? He's right over there with the robes on. Oh. Why are you so angry? Hey, Ben. Oh, oh God. Ben, what the hell are you doing? Oh, uh, it's you. Well, I left for a reason. It was too many, you know, bodies falling on me and. And ships look blown up and Voight's still alive. Alright, you know, whatever qualms you have with Voight, you need to, you know, discuss them with him like a person. Not just run away off to some Taoist yeah, temple. Yeah, okay. What do you think they're talking about? I think they're talking about me. Yeah, okay. You know what? I never liked you. No, I'm a Taoist now, Sebastian. My you life is good. You don't even know what a Taoist is, man. I know enough. No, the Buddha was uh, nailed to the cross and died. No, for no, our, uh, no. Allison. The Buddha has nothing to do with it. Lao Tzu was the founder, ah, and he he was nailed to a cross. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Lao Tzu um, wasn't nailed to a cross. Not even a little. No, he wasn't. What a little. Yeah, I think he, I think you're mistaken. He was at least some of him was nailed to a cross. No, no one was nailed to a cross. No one ever. Jesus was. Yeah, Jesus was good. I read that. Can you read, Sebastian? Yes, I can, can read, Ben. You, read? you know what? Let me uh, let me give you a little lesson on what Taoism is. So, All right. Well, does anyone care to listen to my uh, little lesson about Taoism? No. No, Sebastian. No one cares. Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism have been collectively called the Three Doctrines, and together they have a profound influence on Chinese culture and history. Confucianism and Taoism sprouted and grew up side by side in the soil of indigenous Chinese belief. Early Chinese belief was a blend of several elements. Some of them, such as belief in spirits, can be traced back more than 3,000 years. The following elements provide a basis for later developments in Chinese religion and were especially important to the development of Confucianism and Taoism. Now, everyone knows what spirits are, I hope. Um, they're pretty much a given. Everyone, anyone who has seen Poltergeist uh, and, and its two sequels know what um, spirits are. Good spirits brought health, wealth, long life, and fertility. Mm -hmm. Bad spirits caused accidents and disease. Um, another element is Tian. Uh, during the Shang Dynasty, uh, about 1500 to 1100 BCE, the omnipotent power that was believed to rule the world was called Shang Tai, and was thought of a, as a personal god capable of being contacted by diviners. That's all you need to know about that. Well, uh, they liked the veneration of ancestors. Uh, 
God, I could wish I could say that about my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, everyone's having a good time. <laughs> All right, um... You love you love your old people. That's basically what you know. We put them in retirement homes, and they just they eat them up. Um, yin and yang, um, you know, light and dark, which doesn't necessarily mean good and evil. Uh, it actually doesn't mean good and evil at all. Uh, like we like we uh, Westerners like to think of it as. Um, as you can see on the yin and yang symbol, there is a white circle in the black space and a black circle in the white space. Divination, a uh, system of methods mostly known for uh, uh, knowing about the future pretty much. Uh, it's an integral card of early Chinese uh, tradition. Later, an elaborate practice was developed that involved the the Yijing I Ching, or the, the I Ching, the Book of Changes. It's an ancient book that interprets life through analysis of hexagrams. The hexagram is a figure of six horizontal lines. If you do not know that, go home. All right, we're uh, we're uh, moving faster than speed, speed of, of love. love. <laughs> 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 its earliest documents contain many threads: uh, shamanism, appreciation from the hermit's life, desire for unity with nature, and fascination with health, long life, breathing. Everyone loves breathing, meditation, oh, yeah. and trance. Um, the uh, the Tao Te Ching is generally seen as one of the world's greatest books. It is also the greatest classic of Taoism, accepted by most Taoists as mm -hmm. central scripture. Its title can be translated as the classical book about the way and its power. Oh, let's see. Basic early teaching. The Tao. This is the name for whatever mysterious reality makes nature to be what it is and to act the way it does. The Chinese character for Tao is commonly translated as way, but it has also been translated as existence, pattern, and process. You guys listening? All right. Primarily, the Tao is the way that nature expresses itself, the natural way. Why am I even explaining all this? I have no idea. Uh, Ben's the only one that's clueless. So <laughs> you can pretty much see evidence of Taoism in all the culture if you go to China. Um, it's art, it's uh, beliefs, it's uh, awesome. Uh, I just want to make a note that uh, Confucianism. Um, I uh, mentioned that earlier. Uh, it came first, and it stresses um, propriety, uh, work-related efforts, and um, high education. While Taoism really stresses uh, the connection. Um, with nature, it doesn't really doesn't require higher ed education. Uh, there's this quote I'm thinking of: uh, "You can be a Confucianist at work and a Taoist at home." Anyway, that's pretty much. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I'm sure everyone enjoyed that. I hope you learned a few things, Ben. I really do. <sighs> hey, Ben, where's your room? No, oh, that thing. No, I got rid of that thing. Well. You're a really good friend, Ben, and I hope you learned something on this trip. No. Nope.